Hi, I'm Jeremy Payne, and again today is your host for That Was History. We've had this type of episode before in the past where we take an event from history and we change the outcome, whether it be a small historical event or such from the past as the Civil War, and change the entire outcome with the South winning instead of the North. So stick with me as we journey down this topic of the Cuban Missile Crisis and what might have happened if it went south and say a war had started. So let me give you a bit of background information and tell you what actually happened in the Cuban Missile Crisis. During this event, the US and Soviet Union would engage in a 13-day intense political and military standoff of 1962. John Kennedy would inform the Americans of the threat to national security and his actions that he would take in order to secure our country. He had prepared to launch a full-scale attack which would neutralize any nuclear warheads that were in Cuba. The people of the United States were in fear that this would be the start of a nuclear war. I mean, who wouldn't be fearful in such times knowing that nuclear weapons were basically right in our backyard. Well this disaster would basically be avoided when the US agreed to the Soviet leader's offer to remove the weapons from Cuba and that we would remove ours from Turkey. Could you imagine the fallout if the weapons had not come out peacefully? Well, let's take that angle and see what could have happened if a full-scale war had a broken out. Well, the crisis that was avoided in Cuba could have been much more hazardous than it turned out to be. Along with the missiles found to be in Cuba were the submarines that were also in the Atlantic. If the U-2 spy plane had been delayed just a few short days, then the decision making would have been delayed as well as resulting in action delayed by President Kennedy. He would have taken the advice of his Joint Chiefs and Military Command and launched nuclear weapons to bomb Cuba. Then a possible invasion of United States troops to see that the bombs were destroyed only to have these forces killed in action by other nuclear warheads that Cuba had in their possession. They would then retaliate on the United States, possibly hitting Louisiana. Following suit, the United States would then send enough missiles to wipe out Cuba and more of the Soviet Union. So nonetheless, if the crisis had not been avoided like it originally was in history, there might have been a nuclear global fallout. Europe would have been a wasteland of nuclear toxins, and the United States would have areas that would be uninhabitable as well. If the United States had gone to war with Cuba and the Soviet Union, do you think that it would have been right to basically blow up Cuba to get rid of such a threat to national security. Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Well, that's going to wrap up this section of That Was History. I hope that you enjoyed all the content I had today, and if you perhaps have an event that you'd like to be rewritten, write us and let us know in the comments section below and maybe you'll show up in one of our following episodes. And be sure to hop on over to our social media sites, and we'll see you next time guys.